Oh yeah, look at that. Looky, looky, look at that. Cancel. Yeah, the audio is right. Double check real quick. Yeah, I can kind of hear it. <clears throat> we'll adjust it in just a moment. Celebrating the new 6800 XT graphics card we just dropped in. And my god, it is just. It's a beast! It's so big. Like, normal graphics card that I had before, 6800. It's like. Jesus. It's got a whole extra fan on there. I was. I was totally fine with my already kind of large 2 fan RX 580. But I decided to treat myself, you know, side hustles pay off, um, things go your way every now and then, and I think of it as reinforcing the positive things that I did that earned that money with, you know, a little uh, self-indulgence, you know? Alright, we've got beta stuff to test, boom, do today so I did do a pirate run recently I kind of want to do it again you know but you can't start out as a pirate if you want to do what I do well, if you really want to do it you don't want to go down that road over there Ooh, astronomy nerd oh wait that's me I'm I'm a nerd <laughs> Hello. Oh, and we, I, right, that got reset. Okay, we're gonna hold off on that one. But we do need that one, that one, and that one. Where is the third? That one, that one. And then some stuff that's a little less. <clears throat> oh, that's a good one. Uh, so I have to pick out two non-ship size adjusting. Because I'm doing that. <laughs> They're like, no, no. We know how that works. Oh, let's see. I think normally I would get one of these two, just to uh, round it out. I'm definitely not going to get techie, but I'm probably not going to scavenge a lot either. Um, I remember thinking that would have been a good one to take because I'm not going to earn that in-game, and it's actually pretty useful when you're needing to get out quickly, but then again, that's a good one to take right here. If you know that you're going to be playing mixed fleet and solo, but you're pretty sure you're going to hit your solo uh, space pilot 25 first, that can be a good one. 5% uh, 
weapon damage, and damage resistance. And you have to try to earn all this other stuff yourself. Oh boy. Although, even if you're gonna get Space Pilot, that's not a bad one to get starting a game, especially when you're talking about starting with a Dreadnought. It's not so bad. Just to have that extra cash bonus at the beginning, it's actually really nice. Very helpful. Uh, what's my back scratcher? Oh well, this will work. Beautiful. Can't do tutor. Could do that to start finding cool stuff in the trash early, but really, like, I like to destroy. <clears throat> Once I have that, I like to destroy stuff. That <laughs> plus five. That's a decent one that I'll probably not get in game for a long time, but. I'm going to have a Dreadnought, so 5 cargo is not, not much. Don't want to lose the money. It's a tough choice. Let's go with the one that would probably be difficult to get. Hey, hey, how's it going? Yeah, yesterday was definitely not going to be able to stream, but uh, today I was determined, even though I got started a little bit late. I definitely wanted to go on. Uh, I wanted to catch the devlog and then be on right after that. <laughs> but no, I had to wait and wait. Such is the way. Uh, the back's doing a lot better. I actually went out and played disc golf with some friends and got pretty into it. I uh, was a little sore afterward, but uh, the pinched nerve is the only thing that's really left that gets irritated a little bit, but the muscles in my back, they're mostly all fine again, so I think I'm basically healed. I just have to not make it worse, which I think I almost did today, but... I'm able to do my job now, so that's good. How's your uh, upgrade coming? having dinner then yeah I always joke I'm like you know I know that I can tear down and rebuild a computer like if it's just you know basic components nothing super fancy I know I can break it down and rebuild it in about an hour but then when it comes to like putting together a new system especially one that's for me uh, there is this it just, it takes so much longer for some reason. Like, I just, I become such an odd perfectionist, and it's like, it ends up, you know, I'll be like, oh yeah, I want to wanna take a break and, you know, get a snack and come back and finish it. Like, you'd think I'd be super impatient to get it all slapped together as quick as possible, but I get really awkwardly meticulous and, like, detail-oriented, and I'm, like, making everything look all a little perfect, and, um... Sometimes it takes a little while, and so it's good to give yourself some time. Especially the first one I built when it had really been a while since I had done any kind of major computer work. I was like, you know, I should probably set aside a good time slot for this just in case. Not get too, uh, not too optimistic. It could, it does take a minute. 
but I built mine uh, a little over two years ago and then built a couple for some friends of mine that were almost the same system. Um, basically everything was the same. The cases were different, so there was a couple of uh, minor differences in the building process, but I got those slapped together quick and they are perfect. They still purr like kittens. Uh, one of my friends is like, I keep wanting to upgrade my graphics card, but then I'm like, eh, everything works so perfectly, I don't, I don't know, I'm kind of just happy with it. I was like, well, uh, awesome. Let me know when you want to do an upgrade, I'll hit that quick. But if they wait too long for upgrades, they're going to end up needing new power supplies, which is going to be an even more fun project. Oh, which one first? Just raw damage. Start sailing towards the damage output. <coughs> no, I didn't need to buy that. Actually, let's reverse that. Okay. So it's a start. Charger. Woo. Hey, you. Thank you. Get him, get him, get him. He's taking our shield down for God's sake, come on. Right. 
Yeah, I kind of wanted to watch the devlog before I started streaming just to see what was coming up, what the news was, but... And I was like, oh, it's two hours long. I gotta get going. So I'll have to watch that later, for sure. Market Insight. Look at that. Oh yeah, the missions. We got 400 armor to repair now. Do not forget to take those missions. They are quite important. gonna become a pirate but I don't mind taking some anti-pirate missions just to keep the uh, keep the old reputation in check there I don't want to get too carried away some gyros on the next go round. a little fast. Yay, $160. All right. At least there's a few gunners around. Can't hire them just yet. Oh, look, crystals. Just a little bit of mining for money. Nothing too fancy.
Hey. Oh, the refield. Gotta turn all the way around for that one. It feels slow, but it just, for me, it just adds to the tension. <laughs> I could get attacked at any minute now. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's hitting that 240 frames per second. Almost 250. Oh, come on. Aww. There we go. It keeps switch it's switching on and off now. Everybody else can see it. Okay, good. So we're getting over 240 FPS, using 30 to 40 percent of the graphics card power. Sweet. I guess we'll go here first, huh? Although, I need to... How do I get there? Fastest route there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, so we're going to 2715. And hoping that we can fight a Ravager there. Completed. Start adding damage and let's add one more of those for now. Getting a little low on power there. Loot finder. Oh yeah, it's one of these, right? Fourteen forty Ultra, getting that two hundred and forty FPS. Oh no, they're gonna take him out first. No, mine, you bastards! I needed that money. Oh, okay, we got some of it back. should take care of it. I don't know what loot I was going to get. Yeah, I need the money. I just have to make sure I don't get to level 10. Uh, 
Oh, they'll buy that nickel, huh? that gate. What are you doing? Hey, watch it. Fine. Oh, that's hilarious. the gate. Eleven, twenty-three, fifteen, twenty-seven. So this one will be like nineteen something. Very good. I might as well sell it all. Level 10. Just in case, because if there is a Ravager at this system, it's going to be really easy to charge through, I think. I hope. Dude, you're going to love this card. It's sick. You're going to start looking for ways like excuses to increase the graphics. <laughs> oh my god. Whoops. I didn't even see him. It's off the screen. Oh, that's extra damage though. Free damage. Just for showing up. Ah, 
lame. This is the christening of it. This is the first and only game that I've played so far on it. And it looks awesome. I feel like the models even look a little bit better for some reason. sharper. There it is. Interesting. We'll definitely look into that. Hopefully. I think I might have already gone past the point because I have to... I should have got a warp drive. I don't have enough money for batteries or energy cells, so I guess not. Red Skull got lucky that Raven didn't want a piece. <laughs> I have a feeling that would not have ended well for them. Well, it sure as hell isn't here. lucky. I hope. I don't have a lot of potential left here.
make sure I don't run into any rocks and get experience. I see the stuff floating around. Especially when it's a hundred degrees outside. Just not worth it. Aha. We have one. Wanted to check out 30. Oh, a relic. Oh, no. I got it. Although, there's a good chance I'll be reloading it. Yikes. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, I went through and adjusted a few settings, so it should be pretty good. I still have to be able to get to a Ravager without getting the level 10. Even if I find one in the system, I still have to fly to it. There it is. One of the downsides of having to take wisdom in order to start with uh, Dreadnought, it makes it really hard to get Battle Rush. <laughs> Yay! <coughs> okay, don't save it here. I finally did it! I got an upgrade kit. Nice. Hell yeah. And I had a plenty of time to spare. Look at all the floating debris out here. Although I should probably go save first. In case I get attacked by something. <coughs> Oh wow, we got improved upgrade kit, transmitter, and thermal regulator for that, for getting a refined metal. I lost that one relic that went flying by earlier, but I got that one for the Ravager and that for... That's pretty cool. It's not the best version, but... This early in the game, it's a nice boost. It more than doubled my shielding. 96 plus, yeah, 106 or 130. <laughs> Can you imagine being in a shuttle and getting a drop like that? You'd be like, <sighs> Jump up and do a little happy dance. 
Oh. Yikes. Well, I guess I need an enemy, huh? Wait, why do the pirates hate me so much? I know that didn't do me any favors. Oh, right. They start as hostile and beat us. I knew that. Now, the hunt for engines. some options there. I have a feeling I'm going to get that large, but another free weapon isn't bad either. Which way are you going there, Sibby? There you go. Good decision. Don't make me impatient and just decide. I'll just go through them. It's like the same ones. You know, I guess just I wasn't gonna get one for weapon heat generated, but for accuracy at level one isn't all that bad, although the others are all six. Let's go ahead and slap one of these on. We'll get more guns when we have more gunners. Still slow as hell, but well, come on, make room here. I'm trying to keep you guys from getting too far down the list here, which means I need to go back to that. Yeah, I need to go back there later. Do some ass kissing. Ass kissing that won't piss off the pirates.
there's no path there, but there is two potentially low level ravagers to look out for. That could get fun. Alright, so now that I've got Battle Rush, I need to step up my experience gaining. Right. If you listen closely, you can hear them utter their wild call. No! How many of them did I kill? Just one? Oh, thank god. Still, that's 70 reputation. That's gonna be hard to earn back. But it is possible. Yeah, the, the Theseus Ravager is always a little like, oh, like, not that I'm disappointed, but just, I just, I, I, you do, you feel bad for him. You think, man, that guy could have been hauling some really big, cool stuff around the galaxy, but instead, he went berserk. It's like, uh... It's like those horror movies where the, the cars come alive. I think there is one where it's a Mack truck running people off the road or running them over. It's an 18-wheeler. That's kind of what that is. It's a possessed 18-wheeler. Oh, wow. Level 17. Oh, let's go get killed. This is gonna get nuts. Alright, we have our loot booster on. We have an Iridium Warp Drive. Ooh, right out the gate, we're smoking. Yeah, like, do you feel worse for the ship? For getting infected by an AI when it's just a lowly cargo ship? Or do you feel worse for the AI because now it's stuck in a cargo ship that's not, not a fighter? Oh cool. I was kind of hoping for that, but... Hell yeah. So now we've done a little repair work with the Syndicate, but not so much the Pirates. Oh, they don't have any good stuff? Okay. Ooh, shiny. Ah, uh, only. We'll come back. It's like that episode of DS9 where Quark gets in a fight with a Klingon and they use uh, like an exosuit, like like a mech suit kind of exosuit to, uh, or no, it wasn't an exosuit. Worf was wearing the exosuit. Quark just had the neural implant in so you couldn't see it. 
and Worf was doing every all the fighting from a different room for Cork, and he's like, ah, ah, ah. He has no idea what he's about to do, so it's all. A Klingon powered Ferengi. Poor little feller. turned around to face him. That was always the answer. Except he's not gonna let me get up. Oh, he did! You poor dumb bastard. All you had to do was stay on the side and you would have won that. I... Sailor Mercs. Oh, there's no loot there. eventually. That's a really expensive armor build. That's like thousands of dollars. <laughs> Whoa. Is that just debris right there? It looks like more maybe. Eventually we'll complete this turn. Well, you know, they weren't buying a lot of the stuff that I was mining, but... Well, we got Warpins. Is that box at the top blank? Let's try to make a save point before we engage anybody. Probably a good idea. I don't want to lose everything I just did. It would feel kind of silly at this point. thousand still. Um, yikes, no. That would be nice. Find a gate sooner, but we'll wait on that. Right now I need one of these. Let's go ahead and 
Yep, not much there. I guess for the heavier combat. It'd be nice to get my hands on a couple more guns, but I keep feeling like I'm gonna find some more out there, and I shouldn't spend money on it since I have decent coverage. Not great coverage. something. Not so bad. those were rabbit or uh I wonder if those were marauders earlier. I saw two warpins, but it's hard to be sure. the uh, warning banner at the top was blank, but it may have just disappeared before I got there. Get our hands on a refinery before too long. I still don't have any point defense, which makes being out this far pretty crazy. Level 17 system you need. Probably need some point defense. It's a good idea. fights then. He took out those marauders pretty easily. And I don't want to keep mining. Not live. <laughs>
Oh, it came back. Cool. I kind of don't want to keep doing those either, though. Spread it around a little bit. Spread it around. Alright, I'm going to eat a little bit of a snack, so we'll turn off the camera there. speed by the time I can ram this guy. Nope. Not basically. Marauders, where are you at? Papa needs a new pair of shoes. I.e. engines. Hello. That'll do. Got. I have a pilot. I don't need strafe speed. Hostile warp in detected. Where are they? Where'd they go? I didn't even see anybody. Right? They warp in and they're like, whoa, whoa. Nobody told us this dude was in a freaking dreadnought. Screw that.
interesting finality of that fight. Oh yeah, my roommate got a new dog. <laughs> it's tiny too, like 10 pounds full grown Maltese mix. Cute little bastard. Aww, his Vulcan can barely even get through my armor repair. How sad was that? Oh, hold on. What was that? Uh -oh. Thought I heard something outside. <coughs> yeah, it's the perfect dog. Uh, to go with his two cats because it's like basically the same size. It's hypoallergenic and like it's really energetic and active and uh, just runs around all over the place but basically ignores the two cats unless they come up to him. Which if you know anything about cats is exactly what they want from a dog. Is to mostly just be ignored but It's really funny. It's funny watching them hang out because the cats will be like... And then they'll slowly just kind of ease in and relax, but they'll just stare at them. Uh, I have not decided to get another cat yet. I do want to. But I may wait until I move later this year. But yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of tortoise shell cats out there that need a home. They're uh, probably in November or December. I'm gonna be staying in town in the same city, just uh, moving out a little further out toward the edge of town, so I'm closer to work and closer to some friends of mine that have kids now. And they live further outside of town to be near their families. So it's kind of this chain reaction. The area I'm going to, it, it won't be much cheaper really, but being closer to work will be nice. Right now I'm only 12 miles away from work, but because of the route and the traffic it takes 
half an hour to get there, which isn't too bad. I've, you know, I've driven an hour to work before, um, but I won't do that again. <laughs> half an hour is not so bad. It's just, for me, the commute, I don't mind driving. I actually enjoy driving quite a bit. And it's actually nice sometimes, especially when you have roommates, it's kind of nice to have that little bit of time just by yourself. And I've always enjoyed just cruising around anyway. But the problem I have with a long commute is the rest of the day. What do I, how much time do I have for the rest of my day? And uh, that's where being in a car for two hours every day starts to wear down just a little bit. Plus, you know, driving a 93 Buick, it's nice. And it, the car is in really great condition. Me and my buddy put a lot of money into fixing it up and a lot of time. But uh, when your car is 30 years old, the less mileage, the better. <laughs> it gets decent enough gas mileage, but there's just some parts of the car that are eventually going to wear out, but I don't know, I could probably get another 100,000 miles out of it. But there will be more and more... T did it not? There we go. There will be more and more tendencies for it to break down, but it's... Uh, being a 93 Buick, it... Man, it's so comfortable. Like... Some cars, especially like sports cars and a lot of modern stuff, has a really tight suspension in it. And they're like, oh, but the seats are more comfortable. I'm like, not more comfortable than mine. And I got the soft, old suspension, all nice and broken in. That car floats. It's like, it's like riding on a cloud. I used to think my Impreza was like riding on a cloud, but this Buick is just, whoa. It's like... A cloud and an arm, an easy chair, and it's just all pillows, man. It's so nice. You have to go really slow over any uneven road, like really slow, but it's not super low to the ground, so I don't have to worry about bottoming out. It's just fun to drive. People are like, why haven't you got a new car yet? I'm just like, why would I? This one runs great. I will get a new one eventually. I want to get a truck for the furniture stuff, uh, truck and trailer. It's beautiful, man. If you uh, watch videos of people cruising in like 93 or like early 90s Buicks, it's just, it floats. It's just so bouncy. Like if you hit a bumper hard enough, you'll just keep bouncing and it's like, whoa, okay, this needs to stop. But when you're just cruising, when you're not in a hurry and you're just kind of cruising around. It's just like every bump in the road is just like this soft little bounce. Sometimes I think it's almost too loose. But yeah, there's some funny videos on YouTube of people like uh, young people riding in old cars and like teenagers from today's time riding around in like uh, early 90s, like 80s and 90s comfort cars like that, because it is a comfort car, it's designed for it. But if you have like teenagers riding around in those, they're like, oh, this old car, and then they get in and they're just like, oh no, I get it. This is actually like, I wouldn't drive it because it's not sporty enough, but they, but I get it, you know? <laughs> I love that car. Yeah, it's uh, the car is a friend of mine's, and at the time I was just like, I just need something to get around with. I can't ride my bike to this job, and I don't, you know. And uh, I. I think I started driving it about a year and a half ago and I was like thinking about not working from home and it's nice to have a set of wheels just in case but I was mostly still ordering groceries and I worked from home so I didn't need a lot and my friends like well I got this Buick I got this extra car I don't need 
He goes, you just need to, you know, do some work to make it roadworthy. And I was like, that's fair. That's, you know. Yeah. So I put a good amount of money into it, getting it fixed up, good condition so that it can handle a good bit of driving. I uh, had him rebuild the engine and uh, a few other things. Basically the amount of money I would have spent renting a car anyway, or buying a car, a used car, without a down payment. I think we are just about done here. Let's go out into this cloud, see if there's anything out here. I really, you know what, I'm just, I'm gonna go to the station and warp out and see if I can't find my way to some capital impulse drives. I know I still need to go back and patch things up with the miners, but I think I'll get that opportunity soon. Still kind of in a bad spot with the pirates, too. But yeah, those videos, I, I love watching the videos of uh, teenagers and old technology, like old, trying to watch like <laughs> high school kids play Nintendo games. Like regular Nintendo games and they're just like oh well that's that's cute <laughs> I heard about these but I've never actually played one <laughs> but the car videos are funny too oh and watching VHS tapes on old TVs on old CRT TVs Watching the way kids react when they're used to streaming media in high definition. They're just like, hmm. Ooh. Oh my. I got two of those. Only one gunner, huh? I'm not getting one of these guys. Although I kind of want to. You'd think I'd be looking for point defense already. I'll get some more money. There we go. That'll do. Um, just a couple of beams, maybe? Oh yeah, there's an idea. We'll just have them cover the back. And then the two light lasers that cover the back. These are on the front, so we'll move these to just straight tail gun. Interesting. I think I can make that work. Ooh. Hello. Turn that shit on. Alright, let's... Wait. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the problem removals. Obtain silver. All right. I don't know. Should I backtrack? Yeah, I think I need to because I still haven't bought any batteries. 
Oh, wait. I didn't want to fly all the way back. Yeah, they have huge batteries here. Okay, remember that. Remember that they have huge batteries here. Well, hey, who cares? Why well, remember when you can record? Oh yeah, that Buick has a cassette deck in it too. I use a, a Bluetooth thing that plugs into the lighter outlet for music, but I do have a few cassette tapes in there like the Eagles and Eric Clapton and Pink Floyd. Stuff I could listen to on Spotify, but sometimes it's just funny using a tape deck again. Kind of a neat nostalgia moment. Oh, they're not. There's no claim there. Oh. Yeah, kids playing Nintendo and Atari is hilarious. I was just like, oh man, that could be my kids someday. They're just like... They finally get old enough to where they're like, wait... That's Nintendo? That's the thing everyone's talking about? Oh, that's that old. Yeah. Although, honestly, I'll probably have stuff like that for my kids to play. Of course, I also have controllers for my PC. I could just set up emulators for them. But yeah, if I have kids, they're definitely gonna, they're gonna know the classics for sure. And it's gonna be funny when their friends are like, wait, what is that? That's an original, you have an ori- oh, you play Nintendo games? Holy crap. Exactly. One of my co-workers at the hardware place, he's like 70, but he has a, a 10 year old. And I was just like, okay, maybe I won't discount the idea of having kids one day after all. Although he retired from like one of the major tech companies and he just works at the, he just works at the store now for a, uh, the health insurance. Save money on health insurance and have something to do during the day. But he's he doesn't work very many hours. <laughs> I can only imagine the sort of classic music and movies and the history lesson that that guy gets to give his kid that none of that kid's peers are going to have that kind of, you know, like, I mean, I, unless they're really close with their grandfather, because he's old enough to be his own kid's grandfather by, even by a large margin, so. <laughs> Ooh, let's drop one of these in. I, I just like knowing that. Not anything else here that I want. Except that. Alright, so we should be fully covered now on the sides. Okay, good. Perfect. Let's go ahead and move that. Set the mining laser to different button. Yeah, I don't know why I put it there. Uh, 
Oh, I need another gunner for the tail. Right. That's okay. Oh, I guess I'll go get that real quick. Real quick. <laughs> yeah, right. Oof. Nothing quick about that. Should probably pick up another mining laser soon. Or 10. System fully explored. I do want to get OCD too. I need to pick that up. Yeah. <laughs> Damn right. thrust. Don't tag that station. Alright, now we can... Not that we need it. But, but there it is. For some reason I thought I cleared these. There we go. Get that instant burst damage, but you get the alternating. The alternating helps with accuracy a little bit. Makes it easier to track stuff and lead it off. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Well, we need to go back here. Actually, I haven't heard it that much. I think I need to turn it up a little bit. The visual warning's definitely helpful. See if there was a hostile warp in for that. I'm 
No, it looks like, yeah, knights. Okay. Had a feeling, but wanted to make sure I didn't just miss it again. There we go. Now's our chance. Alright. I guess I should have kept the inertial nullifier until I at least get a decent engine power going. That's all right. Take that, and that, and that. We'll hold off on that. Really? Well, look at that. Well, by the time I have enough money for all of those, for a bunch of those, and they probably only have one or two, Not because I intend to do a lot of mining, but just because I want to get more out of it when I do, without waiting around. Buzz off, would ya? <laughs> Next we'll get... A collector beam. Level two. Maybe we won't stop for that. Uh, well, I took me and the boys, so I'm going for the space pilot one. That way I can switch back and forth. I know it won't come in handy too often, but once I do have a fleet, that plus 5% damage and resistance will be really nice. There we go. What was the other thing I wanted? I guess I should save up for the... huge batteries because I'm going to need more than one of those huge batteries and they're like 1500 a piece I think yeah because I knew I was going to get space pilot to 25 before anything else that was kind of my intention primarily like I didn't really want to do a lot of uh, graveyards early on being so slow and exploration 
was not going to be not a lot of casual exploration to do in a uh, dreadnought that can't do 30. So it just seemed like Space Pilot was going to be the inevitable on the 25s. And uh, eventually I will want a repair ship or something though, or a mining ship. Oh, I guess I'll stop and get it. It's not going to do much. It is not. It definitely is not ideal. Yeah. this one. Damn. I guess we're going back for those crystals after all. I gotta pay better attention to that. Sometimes I feel like I check my map too often and I just need to get out there and fly through it but then and I end up missing stuff. Something up here? No? Weird, I swear I saw something. Did you steal my stuff, Miner? I knew it. our geology at it's going up pretty quick oh god geology is higher than space pilot uh-oh that is not the one i wanted but it won't be hard to fix that just have to stop mining for a while oops i didn't think i really did that much mining too far away. Wow, look at all that cash that I need to save. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't shoot me. No, don't shoot back. Yeah, 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 I'm going. Yes, I heard it. I like that.
<laughs> I mean, I don't have one of those. Maybe I would be useful, I guess. A little bit. It's a tough one. Come on, buy the medicine, you jerks. Screw you. You're not gonna break my shield and my weapons are shut off. Tilting at windmills, sir. We did get our reputation under control a bit though, that's good. Despite pissing them off anyway. Turn it around. Those guys I've got some sway with. Can definitely hammer out some of them. Just smashing through. Don't mind me. Soon gonna be a trigger? What do you mean? Oh, you mean like it's going to be triggering? Start hearing it when it's not really there? Just start randomly shooting in circles like, what, what, what? Oh, it's a relic. Please have more than one. Oh, thank God. Sweet. Oh, nice. I sure hope they have some engines. I'd love me some new engines, that's for sure. Oh wow, I just realized my face is in the wrong place. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Maybe even a little further, huh? There we go. Make sure I'm not blocking the chat box or anything. my maximum warp range it needs a little bit more power okay no big deal hmm. 
I don't have a light yet. But when you go this slow, you really don't need a lot of extra detail. The booster only gives me 0.4 extra speed, but I feel like I still have to do it. I still have to push the button. It feels wrong not to. Sweet. No, I don't care if the top speed is a little lower, because I'm going to fix that. Now we go 24, but now we go 34. They bought the medicine. Sweet. We got some fancy stuff here. Oh yeah. And the acceleration's better. Quite a bit better. What was it before, like 50? Or worse, perhaps? It's all very shiny. I might as well wait to get that and put it into stuff that's more useful. I don't think I'm going to take exploration. I think I'm going to go for uh, generator output. Because if I remember right, between 15 and 25 is when uh, I really started to finally hit that equipment cap. So a little extra generator and battery capacity will go a long way. Tier 2 experience skill? Oh, explorer skill. Hell yeah. Interesting. I have a feeling I'm going to lean more towards uh, Prodigy. Definitely want Born Leader. I mean, it still helped. It wasn't like it was bad, but, you know, compared to the value of a skill point, I can see why there was a some changes.
Nice. No, I don't want him. I should have gone around. On you bastards. Oh, just the one? Okay. That's how you want to play it. You're wrong though, just so you know. So I can fire my point defense mining beams and primary forward weapons without overheating. Cash money. One day I'll do a Dreadnought start, and I'll do a Missile Boat, because that's a much smarter way to do this. Supposedly. We'll see. Yeah, see, I can focus on the missiles. Shoot the missiles down, although I don't really need to. Drones off of them. Wow. All right. Let's see. So I need to get. better engines, but I need some Mark III boosters, but won't be much point to Mark III boosters if I don't get some more generators going. Okay, so I need at least one more large nuclear reactor. And it might not be a bad idea to give that one a basic upgrade package either. What the fuck? I mean, oh, that's new. Oh, I see. My loot range is wider than my scanner range. I thought that was something new. Like uh, a new type of thing to find. Definitely a new feature, though. I like it. Sell that. I need the money. All right. <laughs> That's working out pretty nice, actually. So we got a decent bit of stuff out here. Nothing super amazing, but some good cash money on the run. I think I made a little over six grand so far. Pretty sure I had around four when I left the station. So about six grand in raw cash. Depending on what I get for the crystals, we probably have another couple grand in loot. Really got to keep an eye on this. We're already up to 13 geology. <laughs> I gotta find some stuff to kill fast. I haven't been here yet. 
We'll probably jump there after I hit the station again. Just to be certain. Now give me a taste. No. Must do combat. added a whole one to my top speed. <laughs> Maybe I should save first, just in case. That'll warp out. Both very tempting. That's worth a lot more. Okay, we don't have large here. Definitely want at least one of those. A couple of those. You don't have drones, but you sell junk? Did I sell you that junk? I did. But you don't have drones? Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Let's revisit that. Because that could be great. Tempting. Okay, so these are on the front. Do I just want to put more on the front? I think so. Yep. <laughs> All of that. Okay. I did save, right? I feel like I did. Is that the only one? Whatever. Whoa. It's huge. Yeah. It's a really big system to have to cross. one of these guys and I actually have money in the bank. Hot damn. Oh, well, that's a shame. Wow. Very expensive. I don't even think that's worth the money right now. Yeah, not enough money. Uh-oh. Uh, where you guys?
guys swarming me? I don't like that. have a label. Oh, those are missiles? Who's shooting missiles at me? Marauders? I thought those were a couple of engine trails and somebody was chasing me and I was like, where's your label? Bag Supremes. No, I really, I'm not going to need an energy barrier until I get um, a flux capacitor. I don't want the warp diverter. And by the time you get a flux capacitor, they usually sell the improved energy barriers. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna hold on to that. Oh man. Don't tease me. Don't tempt me. I'll start killing humans. Yeah, that's that's exactly where I wanted those. We're gonna start getting attacked from interesting angles soon. I have a feeling the enemies are about to get a little bit smarter. And we do have a ridiculous thermal capacity, so... Yep, thank you for knowing that. That's where I wanted those. Things are about to heat up. I can feel it. Three gigs of VRAM. At 240. Yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> So you mentioned earlier that you are considering uh, increasing the graphics overhead. Are we talking about um, like Ultra is going to be more than what it is now and the scale will slide up to adjust to it or are we more looking at other features? More on the text, the other side of it. Or both, I guess, would be a possibility. Oh, 
Oh, I was asking uh, if you were going to increase the graphics potential on the game. As far as uh, graphical settings, like the... Uh, if that was going to expand. As far as the scaling. Uh-oh. What did I do? Oh. It's a Vangi outpost. It didn't register properly. Look at that. What? Okay, now it's back to normal. That was a funny one. Hey, look at that. Oh nice, it's just a basic scanner with a loot detection bonus. Okay, okay. Well what's the loot detection on a tachyon? Not great. Not great. Better than basic, but... I think I want that. Like, I don't necessarily need to see it on screen as long as I know it's there. to get paranoid about missiles. Wow! The intuitiveness! It knows exactly where I, Is it because I'm building... Is it just... That's great. It's... My logic is matching up well with the way they're assigning my weaponry here. I like it. Nope. You die. I guess I'm kind of following the obvious pattern of front to back. Based on, it's just basing it on how many weapons are assigned, right? Like, they just happen to be the slots that had more space in them. Nice, brought it back down again. shit. Well, if, if one can go that much farther than the other, if it can happen either way, maybe they should be different colors. Love a good Cerberus start. Oh yeah, this line's a little greener. 
How you doing, man? I'm trying really hard not to get my geology up anymore. <laughs> I want the space pilot bonus. But I keep smashing through rocks and shit. Ugh. Oh, they're a choice. It's very nice. It's worth it. It's a lot of fun. Ooh, level 19. Show me something new. Hey, that's pretty new. That's cool. Oh, yeah. There's a... Uh, I haven't broken anything yet, but there's a lot of fun to be had in there. Ooh, it's happening. Indeed, that was pretty easy. I just drove into it. I, bar I don't even think I needed to shoot him, but... Alright, it's time for me to pick an enemy, because if I'm going to get Space Pilot up, I need something to kill. I'm in Vangi territory, I guess I could go after them. Yeah, I had to take the radar off, I was at, uh, I was close to level 9. And I was a few systems away, I was like, uh-oh, this might not happen. Drastic meshes were required. Cool. Well, I thought I would have a better energy barrier option, but that's okay. I'm gonna wait for large reactors. Okay. Yeah, we're rocking uh, an RX 6800 XT now. So we're at 1440 Ultra, 240 frames per second. And I know it shouldn't look different, but for some reason it still looks better. I don't know why. Maybe just some of the smoothing technology is a little newer. I have no idea. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to buy drones. Uh, no, actually, installing the graphics card was easy. Um, there wasn't a lot to do otherwise. Uh, the stream box has been running great since I upgraded it to a Ryzen. So, as far as being able to stream Star Valor on Twitch, we're like, way above. 
way above spec. Oh yeah, I was gonna check that. So let's see. Open up the metric setting on my stream box. Let that run for a minute. Yeah, it really looks great. Okay, so the processor is locked at, on the stream box, the processor is locked at 3.6 gigahertz. And it's pretty steady around 25 to 30% CPU usage. Actually, now it's at 23. So yeah, that's exactly the amount of overhead you want on that. Okay, cool. So I found a gate. I don't know why I started running away from it. And the memory, it's using 5.5 uh, gigs of RAM out of the 16. Of course, the disk drive's not getting used hardly at all because nothing's going on it. And even the graphics card is only at 60%, even though it's an ancient piece. I was going to put my uh, RX 580 into the stream box, but then I realized, I was like, wait, that old graphics card, it's an NVIDIA GTX 460 from like a bajillion, you know, 10 years ago. I think it's 10 or 11 years old. And uh, I was like, if that thing still runs, I'd rather put hours on that until it dies and save what life the RX 580 has left on it. Uh, just in case I, you know, what happens if the 6800 craps out on me, like the 6700 did? Oh cool, hate you. Thanks. Okay, so tell me if I'm crazy, but is there not almost like a, is there not something about the Cerberus that makes you think it's going to transform into a giant battle robot? Like it kind of looks like it has the legs and the torso, and like a head could fold out of this part. has that certain quality to it. Yeah. Something about the shapes makes it something about the shape of it makes it look like it'll turn into a yeah, a giant mech warrior or something. I'm not going to add new quests in this area, but we'll uh, clear some of these old ones for money. Some of them are stacked pretty heavy. For real though, like it's already got some hips and legs. Arms could fold, like these two drills could fold out as arms and then the head has a drill on top of it. So like it would have drill hands, but then like with guns on them. The gaps are definitely a big part of it. But it's not just these gaps, it's this gap in the back and Something about the shape, the uh, the V shapes of it kind of give it like a 
torso and shoulders look to it. See, it doesn't quite have the same effect when you look at it from the side, but like you can almost still see it. A little bit of a star scream look to it. I really should not have gone through the rocks. Oh, but I won't really get any geology for these, will I? Because they're too low level. How's the oh, cool, we did get ahead finally. Definitely. Oh yeah, that's why you don't take the bounty missions at this point in the game with the Cerberus start or any Dreadnought start because they might be able to outrun you. And then, you know, by the time you actually get around to them, they're kind of not that great. <laughs> getting some decent cash and reputation. Right. Not bad, not bad. No reputation on these, huh? The regional deliveries, they don't carry rep. That's alright. At least it's still cash. We got two. Oh, there's a pirate one here, okay. is over there like, huh, I wonder how long it would take to add something like that. Ancient Relic, where? There it is. I don't think I can catch it, right? Oh, I should be able to. catching up to it. <laughs> it's hard to tell. It's like traveling through the desert toward a mountain range. You'll think you're within an hour or two of the mountains and then an hour or two later it looks exactly the same and you're like oh shit. And then ten hours later you look and you're like okay now it looks a little bit closer. Objects in front of you are farther than they appear. If you've never driven through a desert, I mean, 
I would not do it just to do it, but man, it is an interesting experience. It will mess with your head a lot. Just because, well, first of all, the, the isolation, right? There's the, we could break down and be stranded. That makes it all the more interesting. <laughs> Whoops, I just sold that. Oh well, I don't care. But then just the effects of being out there are insane. The, the land is just completely open, especially if it's like a flat, dead, open desert and not one that has a lot of mountains nearby. Everything looks way closer than it is because, for one thing, there's a lot of extra light reflecting off the ground at you. Um, the air is a lot clearer and there's no objects in between for reference so when you look at the the mountains that are way in the distance you have no clue how close they are unless you spend enough time out there to really acclimate to it which i don't know why anybody would do that <laughs> it's fun though You, you really feel a, an odd sense of accomplishment afterward. Wait. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Is that not... It kind of looks like an ancient relic. How big are the ancient relics? Are they like pods? Is it pretty accurately represented on uh, on screen? medium nebula damn it well I don't know I always at first I always imagined they were like this big like something between like a baseball and a basketball but if they're the size of a life pod that's totally different you never know when something glows that bright you can't really be sure how, how big is the actual thing and how big is the, the corona, the light. Oh yeah, I got enough to convert to medium laser beams. I didn't note it. There was a place over here that had uh, heavy shields, Mark II heavy shields. Oh, okay. So like a beach ball size? Something between a bowling ball and a beach ball. Oh yeah. What did I do with that other package? I just jumped up and ran away for no reason. There it is. 
So, along with uh, the new graphics card that I got today, I also got a frame for my green screen. I haven't had a chance to set it up yet, but I also got these. I don't know if that's up. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Which you can't tell what it is, I know. Oh no! Stupid civilians! Leave me alone! He ran into me, guys. He ran into me. So to add to the suspense, I get attacked. So these are going to be a really big help uh, when I go to rearrange my setup. Because when I put the Ryzen board, the Ryzen motherboard, CPU, RAM, the whole setup, when I put that in my old Asus case, um, I forgot that that Asus computer with the FX6300, my stream box, I forgot that the front I.O. for the power button and the USB and uh, not the USB, sorry, the power button, the hard drive light. Uh, all the basic stuff that's in that one grid at the bottom right of most motherboards. I forgot that that was all a brick plug for that case. It wasn't individual, like with the DIY case. So, and it's matched up to the old motherboard, which was DDR3 and a totally different generation. And on top of that, a weird custom motherboard for that series of computer did not match up with the new motherboard at all. So, um... I can't even use it, so I've been turning it on with a screwdriver, uh, just tapping the contacts to turn it on, because I only use it a couple times a week. But, the new setup, when I rebuild everything, it's going to be completely different. And it's going to be hard to get to. It already kind of is, but it's going to be harder. So I bought this that plugs in to your case for the power button, and it's an auxiliary power button with a decently long cord. So I'm gonna get a little panel, and I have three of these, one for each system that I use. That way they can all be put away. They can all be tucked away, out of the way. I don't have to touch them. I don't have to do anything. And I'll be able to turn on all three systems right in front of me. Um, right now it's really hard to get to all three of them, and the new setup, it would be even basically impossible. Uh, not necessarily impossible, just kind of absurd. So I'm just like, you know what, I think I'm just going to get some auxiliary power buttons. Now of course it's hard to find a good setup that has three, three power buttons built into one board. Uh, there were some options I had where I could have replaced, um, like one of them had the button and then the power light and then the hard disk drive light and I was like well I could just resolder the LEDs with buttons and have three buttons on there and then just plug them into each computer but then like the computers aren't going to be near each other so it just wouldn't work. So eventually I figured okay well I'll just do this. I'll just get three separate buttons and it'll work just fine. That's going to be fun. And uh, when I get that set up, and I get my desk rearranged, and I get my green screen set up, it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh gosh, what am I... This system is so weak. Nothing here is a threat to me. They're all very confused why I would even be here. I got, I got a few new toys to play with. I'm really excited for it. The button was quite a bit bigger than I expected it to be, but that's okay. It won't be in the way. What I'm going to do is get a, uh, a flat piece of plastic and then put an adhesive grip pad on the bottom of it so it won't slide around the desk and then just stick each button onto it so that I can just kind of move it around wherever I need to. 
3810. The setup is getting pretty complicated. But yeah, problems that you run into when you use three separate computers to do one project, to do one process. <laughs> Especially when it's all DIY put together over out of parts over time. Mostly salvage well, at the beginning. And then lately it's grown into getting completely rebuilt. Technically the FX6300, the one I was using as a stream box, it wasn't technically salvaged, but it was refurbished and really damn cheap. And basically the only things usable in it. No, I pretty much used everything. It definitely needed more RAM though. I added RAM, I added a drive, I added, uh, well it didn't have a graphics card. It had a TV card and uh, it was an old one gigabyte graphics card that was basically about the same as my GT710, maybe not as good. Let's see, what do you... No, it's not that one then. Oh, whoop, whoop. I'll just go the other way. Little by little though. Every once in a while I get a new part here and there, but... Yeah, even the graphics card I bought was uh, refurbished. It looks brand new. It's in the original box and everything looks great, but it is definitely not brand new. I saved like $200 taking a risk. You wouldn't think I would do that considering that the, the last one I bought didn't work out. Oh yeah. That. Okay, let's just... Fifty-one under fifty-five, so we're really not going to get... Much better than that. Those would be cool. But everything else is going beam style, so probably not. I don't know if I'm going to equip mining beams right now. But... I know that two of these will not interfere with each other. I add another one that'll overheat. So we can sell those. And I think these I'll do the same uh, box as before. That should cover us pretty well. And I won't worry about the front so much because we just got that extra heavy shielding. And then... Oh, they don't have any Mark IIs. Ah, oh, that's alright. Ooh. I still kind of want that. Okay. Nice. Hey. Watch 
got there. Hey, not bad. Although, I could get down on some of that crew experience right now. Oh yeah, derelicts aren't in the dead zone yet, are they? Alright, so who do we fight? Should I go after the Vangi finally? It looks like we might be in their territory. Although, still a lot of civilian stations around. Oh, okay. Interesting. How far away can they be detected? I wasn't sure what was uh, implemented yet and what was still a uh, work in progress. Oh, do we have a battle station around here? What does strong signal mean? See, this is why I should have... I had to miss the devlog. Now I don't know what anything means. They only had one. I bought a heavy mine. Uh, that's what I get for not paying attention. Oh well. I 
Hell yeah. I got the cargo buff. For space pilot. Okay, yeah, we can lose one of these huge batteries. Now that we got some of that sweet, sweet capacitor set up. to a thousand units, whoa. Like, cohort units? these beams, right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If they all fired at the same time, that would be 180 power. We can kind of handle it, but... Hmm. I can upgrade a huge battery and make some room for more generators, or just upgrade a generator. I'm going to be stuck with those huge batteries for a while, and I have a feeling I'm going to be swapping out for fusion reactors soon. So I think the space as general space will be better. Alright, take it easy, man. Let's see you around. Oh yeah. This ship's about to start getting a lot faster. And that's going to be a lot of fun. Aha! I never even charged that thing. Wow. Well, I have to now because I'm about. I'm in a much more dangerous system. Ah, 
I don't know. Do I want to become a pirate? Or do I want to fight the pirates and the Vangi? Or do I want to fight the Vangi and the humans? I kind of like being a Children of Terra slash pirate. That one's pretty fun. But you really... You're banking on two very uncommon station drops. Station uh, appearances. Since you'll be picking up... Marauder pretty easily. I don't know. That's a tough one. There it is. But being friendly with Children of Terra and Pirates gives you access to some of the coolest ships in the game. You do lose the Vangi ships, but... The Children of Terra ships make up for it, and pirate ships are just fun. anything. It's a medium population. Should be able to have some fun here. Whew. Almost sneezed again. <laughs> Let's just take a gate there. Nah, I kind of want to find the station though. I feel like I need to do a bit more here. Too bad it doesn't tell you what direction they come from. Why are they so scared of me? Just because I have a Cerberus?
Ha! Now we're talking. Hey, look at that. Put that on now. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. place. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. One twenty eight, barely thirty nine. You know, I might as well pick that up now while it's here, even though I don't really need it. more money in this system. I got all excited, but it's really not a whole lot faster. We got like an extra three speed out of that, but that's still good. It's still worth it. Because once we have better engines, the boosters will have more to work with. We'll be able to upgrade those and eventually afford some more of those large fusion reactors and start upgrading those. That's going to be a big deal. And some high grade large gyros won't hurt either. Oh, I forgot to actually look at what their tech level is since I can't use them yet. But I think by the time I get all the other equipment and can still afford those, I'll probably be sufficient level, I hope. Did you come out here all by yourself? Now you feel stupid, don't you? So if I have uh, mining drones on now and they're activated, will they just automatically hit any rock that gets close enough to me?
Oh yeah, the Mark III boosters scale really well. Oh, uh, okay. I have no sheath for my swords. So I walk backwards a lot. Oh dear. What new madness will we find here? Uh, well, a large mark too. That I can use. Let's see. Oh. Oh, Sally Mary. I don't have 256 extra power, but I have a good sized battery. And I can always turn off some of that other stuff. Since I never actually bought any drones for those. Not enough space. Screw you. Uh oh. I mean, that didn't help the space, but. What do I need two more? something. Oh, wow. Go take out some pirates. Ooh, I like that planet. Steal my kill. Oh, you stole my kill, you jerk. How dare you. Oh, there's another one? Well, looky there. That one alone was 500 credits. Hell yeah. Alright. 36 again. Ooh! I mean, that's. I might as well just. Eh. Damn. Could replace a lot of the old stuff. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should upgrade shielding first, since they have Charger Mark 3s. I definitely don't have a 10 to 1 ratio here. Yeah, let's clean this up a little bit. Six. There we go. 
go. Save some of that for a future fleet. Uh-oh. I forgot I was going to do the Marauders. <laughs> oh well. Oh, okay. So once you click on the first one, then they'll kind of run around on their own. I'll play around with it. A little passive mining here and there would probably be a good thing once I get uh, Space Pilot up. I just wanted to see it. <laughs> then I get attacked. Cool. Very good, very good. Right, right. Yeah, drones will have range. Oh yeah? You're just ready to go already, huh? Respect. Oh shit. Still gotta keep my tech level moving. Serious equipment floating around in space. Hell yeah. This place is kind of dead, huh? Population low. shall receive. I doubt there's any way I can fight this guy, but I have to try. He's having a hard time getting through my shield there, but now he's kind of fucking me up. Maybe I can run away? It is letting my shield recharge that I'm running away. Uh-oh. He bailed! Look at that. Just, just let him hit. Save the power for the repairs.
Turn the boosters back on. Uh oh. Might as well get some repairs done while we're here. Uh oh. Might be losing this one. Nope, there it is. Still got a chance at it. So that since it's pretty far behind. Oh, it still says required to install better equipment. I know it's uh the change isn't necessarily permanent, but that could be misleading. What should it say now? Allows you to install equipment that might be higher than your player level. Make it sound like the tech level is the secondary for it. Booster, I should be able to run the repair system. Yeah. An upgrade kit again. Oh, man. All right. Hell yeah. Minus 22. All right. It was minus 66 earlier. So that's a significant improvement. But we are going to get the heck out of here now. Really? So these two being baggy, that was just incidental? Or is it more over that way, I guess? Because this seems like a bunch of civilian stations. There's mining, but they don't control it. It's independent control. Independent. None. We'll look around a little bit more, but this is, uh... Oh, something tells me I'm not going to be so lucky this time. medium laser. Eh, okay. Let's 
Some strong ass mines. You said the mines in a graveyard uh, scale with the graveyard's level, right? The damage of the mine. So the higher level the ship graveyard, the more damage the mines will do to you. Yeah, I'm gonna save that plasma cannon, and uh, I kind of regret selling the other one. I may start collecting them, because that would be really brutal out of this boat. Oh my. Huh. Freaking torpedoed already. Oh, so close. We'll just come back later. Oh, there's another plasma in that system? I'll go back. Unless it dropped from one of the enemies. But we'll see. Guess I could just do that. Cheat. Oh, it was a drop. Nah. Oh boy. Oh, it's coming towards me too. Awesome. I forgot to use my barrier again, damn it. Whoa. I survived that time. And then I hit a mine and now that guy's gonna kill me. Wow. We'll come back later. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> oh, you know what I didn't even think of? I didn't run the game through my settings on a... Uh... Whatchamacallit? Radeon software. Because it reset them all to default? Hold on. I'll mess with that next time, that's gonna take a while. This way. Yeah. I should have gone through. Oh, I didn't have the for it though. Gold. Well, that's too bad. So close. Oh, 
damn it. Like, I've been pretty okay with the relic drop rates, but they seem a lot better today. <laughs> they seem really high today. Exactly. That, yeah, that's got to be it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, what happened to the music? Come on now. There we go. I don't want to have to go all the way around. This is the spot that I want to see right here. And then this. We can come up here. And then we'll check this out. Is it that reduces your work charge time? That's exploration. No. Or no, that's, yeah, explorer. That one. I guess I do need to get that up some. 26. Oh, he's guarding the gate. What a jerk. Well, I really wanted to know what was out here, didn't I?
What the hell? What happened? Oh no! He came back already. Another one. Oh, and a derelict. Look at that. Archimedes. Oh, I can't carry that. Wait, maybe. A relic, too. Well, yeah, I mean... When you can see him coming from farther away like that, and you get all the alerts and everything, then... Yeah, you probably should adjust the drop rate to it. It is about that time. Let's see, is 75 enough for this guy? Got us part of the way. Can't get hit by another one of those though. Maybe. Yeah, you want some now? You didn't see that? You still want to go? Derp. Maybe it was that great. Oh, 
Oh my. Archimedes is a frigate. They occupy a lot of space though, right? I don't remember. Nice. Is it over four over three hundred? I feel like it is more than three hundred. But maybe not. Need to find a station. Either here or I guess I could pick up a warp tow array. That's pretty far out. Wow. I was I was not expecting that quite so soon. <laughs> Although you know what? Fine components. It might be time to upgrade this ship. speed boost out of it. At least until we get some better engines. <laughs> Pirates! Look at that. I'm gonna be you guys. No, not that. I'm gonna start my pirate career. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Neat. Funny. that or that can't use those yet how do I get let's see are there other syndicate how is this no control I wasn't expecting syndicate very odd Ooh.
Okay. Wait, what? No. Yay. I wasn't sure if I... I couldn't remember if you could copy and paste on that or not. be pretty difficult. <laughs> this could get quite dicey, in fact. Oh yeah, you. faster than me. Oh, look at that. Nice. That was a good chunk. I think he's faster than me. I have to, like, wait till he stops again. Maybe it's just because I hit that guy. It seemed like he was getting farther away. Oh no, maybe I'm closing in on him. Just barely. Sometimes it's nice to just take off the headset. Target, fire, fire. Yeah. some syndicate if I decide to tank my reputation with these guys make sure I don't have anything stored nah, I really don't have anything in storage anywhere except that I faced this I need to remember I didn't mark it but one of those systems has oh shit Thank <laughs> you. 
finding a lot of base components out here. It's nice. target. I'll know where my future enemies are. It's not that far out. Alright. Nice, now we can sustain it as long as we're not boosting. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can be an instructor. You won't have much to do for a while, but... You know. Excuse me. Good lord. Oh yeah, I never got a second navigator. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely, uh, definitely collecting those a lot faster. Take it. There goes another one. That I definitely would not have noticed. Wow, look how far away it already is. I think, I think the data's in on that one. We've seen enough. I've been playing for four hours and I've got quite a few of these. I've used, what, one or two? I know I used one on the huge battery. And I, I, oh, I used one on the engines. So let's see how many I have. <laughs> no, what's funny is when you have a slow ship and you think, I'm going to have another one pop up before I even get back to the station. Because it took so long to get that one. There it is, it happened. <laughs> I barely got back into the system. Yep. Oh, and the the escape pod too. <laughs> Nigel Wilson. Wow. I don't know which one to put you on. You'd be great at both. They have fives. And I don't think I'll ever develop that relationship. I was just about to start torpedoing it. Oh, I'd need a lot of those. Do I have any? No. 
Turbo Flux Refinery. Uh, I'm not gonna use it though. A lot of Flux Refiner. Oh yeah, so that's 9 relics plus the 2 that I've already used, so 11 in 4 hours. Yep. Oh shit. The cash grab. I just need to, uh... Oh. There's that. <laughs> Let's see. They have the basic here. Like, I'm gonna go to war with these guys, but there is some good equipment that you need to pick up. When if you're gonna be friends with pirates and children of Terra, there's you're looking at some often not great shipbuilding. <laughs> You'll find that very few of their stations have a complete list of the equipment that you would want. Ah! I don't know how many I need. Two eighty-eight. Wait, so... Maybe I can pick it up now. But we'll go ahead and equip this stuff just in case. Hey, cool, and they bought all the extra stuff. Smooth. miracle or anything, but it's an improvement. Now we'll finish this off and we'll go get that ship. Nice. I'll go ahead and finish the quest out then. Whoa, wrong way. Ah, oh, thank you.
Oh damn, I don't remember which one it's in. I think it's... I guess it's the other one. Oh, it stayed where I moved it? Oh, that's funny. I know I could have uh, saved the game, gone to the menu, and seen what the weight was for an Archimedes, but then I'll never remember it. Ah ha ha. Excellent. 328. It, wow. Wow. Just barely. That's a big boat. That's oh, significantly bigger than a pelican. Which I admit, um, I don't know. I guess the pelican's thinner from top to bottom. That's oh, like 50. The pelican was like 280, right? Maybe it's a uh, depth top to bottom. Maybe it's thicker than the pelican. It is blue tier, so I, I feel like it should be a little bit harder to recover. But only if it makes sense, right? Oh, I can't fight this guy yet. What if he drops something really cool? is great because I need to put that other equipment back on. And I kind of forgot what I took away. guys want. 20. Uh, I just need to be friendly. Should I just go kill a bunch of syndicate to get some better engines? And then I can do more ramming damage to these ravagers. But I gotta do the problem removal anyway, so let's just go ahead and do it. Do a generator. Eh. Now we we'll use the warp drive. It'll be. It's got to be able to recharge before I get this guy killed. Was wrong. Oh, oh. Well, I'm keeping that. That seems pretty rare. Ooh. Nah, we'll figure that out when we get there. And an improved kit. Hot damn. I 
can see the Archimedes is a little bit longer in my head too, I think. Seems like it is. Whoa. <laughs> I made hostile with them with and it wouldn't let me save, I forgot. I was like, oh crap. But not quite friendly with these guys yet. So close, but uh, not close at all to that. Oh no. <laughs> well, they're stuck there now. What the shit, Lana? twice my level, but whatever. Really? Damn it. Oh, shit. Alright, we'll wait on that. Wow! 41? That's gonna kill me. The civilians don't hate me yet. <laughs> There's always that. following me. Oh no. He dented my shield kind of. Poor little bastard. It's never gonna work out for that guy. Cannon. Boom. Oh, yeah. Nice. 
things. It didn't give me... It didn't change my reputation from that? Oh. What happened? Why they don't hate me? Seems like they should have. Whoops. It made me stop. That's weird. I always forget that hitting reverse cancels your uh, lateral movement or resists it. Space trucking. All right, now I got lots of money to outfit that Archimedes. I got a pretty good amount of cheesy gear. I feel like I want to make it a uh, mining slash repair ship, a little bit of both. But I know it's going to have a hard time with it because of the configuration. Might as well. Wow, again? You have another one? I think so. I mean, I have to get my fleet commander up. It's at zero. But... We can at least start putting the pieces together. Wow, what the hell? <laughs> what is it doing? Bastard. Hey, Ziggy's critical chance to 4%. Alright, but I'm supposed to be making friends with the pirates. And I'm in civilian territory, so that's going to be kind of difficult. I should sell the Archimedes or save it for later. I don't know, that's a tough one. focus on getting um, Space Pilot up to 25 to get the bonus perk. Might as well take the local if I'm going to go turn in the pirate ones. The Marauder one. I'm just kind of flying around this system right now while I make decisions. Like, should I just go ahead and get Star Killer?
82,000. Hell yeah. Living it up. Living it up. Could definitely, uh... Trade in that Archimedes for something else. Or even hold out for a terror. But a nightmare wouldn't be too bad. A little awkwardly close quarters, but... <gasps> oh, yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Who cares? That's worth two relics. Woo! Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Acceleration from 5 to 8. Turning speed. Wide the hell open. at Mark 3. Let's go on a spending spree for a minute. No big deal. Let's go piss off some miners. Who are really well, they have stations around here, but not finding their own systems. Hmm. Hi there. Oh yeah, I did. I forgot about enhancements. Just empty. Damn. Oh, an escape pod. Claude Oberman. Oh. One oh three. Let's just go piss off some syndicate real quick. They won't be expecting it. Nobody will. 
I also need to put together some basic upgrade kits for my weaponry. Uh, it's going to be a while before I can use those heavy laser beams. Oh no, no, it's the improved though. I need to figure out what the price on the, or what the requirement is for the improved. This guy is so lucky I've taken on missiles. He has no idea. coming from all over. Shit, a sanctuary is on me. That was the hostile warpin. Okay, it's got a crap ton of armor, but no repair. But I bet it gets support from other ships in the system. systems All right. yeah if it if there were no other ships in the system that fight still would have taken 10 minutes if not 20 but with all the other ships it's just like The amount of time I would spend just running away to repair would be ridiculous. There's a certain ratio of how much time you spend fighting an enemy versus running away from it and recuperating. Where you just kind of don't want to do it anymore. But that's like, you know, boss fights in pretty much any game. Sometimes you're just like, this is taking too long, I'm exhausted. Reputation adjustment here. Uh, 
Oh. Yeah, that's because the stupid system's still on. Plenty of cash, though. Wow. So I only need two of the heavy laser beams because they're going to go on the front. Everything else is going to have point defense and an uh, improved laser beam. So I have two, I have, oh, I've got lots of heavies. Yeah. If I'm going to keep messing with these guys, it's a requirement. I have to do some upgrades. Regulator. Ah. But I don't want to mine stuff. Damn it. Well, so much for that. Um. <laughs> There's no speed boost. Got lots of fine. These have a decently high crit chance. What about the... You don't have them. Good for you. Thanks for being so helpful. I guess I can make two more for those and a couple for those two. So let's go ahead and make four. <gasps> you what? What now? Son of a bitch. How dare you. There's no civilian stations anywhere. I guess we'll check here, but this is probably just dead empty space. scavenging. Yeah, we're just gonna go. Nice. A crystal chamber, huh? Take it. Hello. My first spotlight, yeah? I guess we will. No beams? Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. You don't have any cooling. Damn it. Damn. 
Damn. Now that's an upgrade. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, yeah, that's probably that, though. Now, if I get that engine upgrade where I get some maneuverability going, then we'll really be in business. But it looks like I do need to do a bit of mining. Two more points. And we'll have our perk. Extra cash. Oh yeah. Start our new array. Or just smash through them, I don't know. A little above. Well, they're not going to overheat from these guys. Ooh. That's gray. Oh. I don't think I'm going to use torpedoes, but if I did, it might be nice to have an upgraded one on hand. I mean, what do we got here? Yeah, eight, nine, nine ports, and we could double stack them with torpedoes. Nine times four is thirty-six. That would still give us some space. And of course they would all be getting doubled on the cannons. This thing would make an awful torpedo boat. It's kind of counterintuitive though, like you almost get the same effect from having the ramming weapon, so it's kind of redundant. I don't know if you'd really be able to use both simultaneously with much effect. Hmm. Tough call. Oh, come on. Have some damn cooling, would you? Cloaking device might not be bad. That could be useful. It's only a... It's not that much space. Now, another thing to look at... More of those. We can't have so many that we don't have any power left. fusion reactors. We have them here. Okay. That'll do it. 
I would like that. Anything else? Nope. Not really. Nice. Oh, jeez. Well, at least it's close to where we're going anyway. That's not so bad. Alright, I need another little bitty snack. But I'm... As always, gonna keep playing. Uh oh, we're a wee bit off course. Well, there you go. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Turned in our pro reward there. That is a lot of pirates. Wonder where they're going this time of day. have it on. <laughs> Oops. That explains it. There we go. Nothing like a little in-flight snack. Fusion. They have it too. Well, which one's closer? It's about the same. <laughs> <coughs> but since I have a reward at this one, I might as well head that way. Wow, I spent $50,000 at least. It's going to get wild. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Wait. Six. Ooh. But if we replace it with... Okay, we got 239.
Okay, let's turn everything off. Right? No! Two fifty three. Four of these beats six of those. Yep, that makes sense. We'll keep those for other boats. Um, trying to collect refined metals, so I'd have to use relics to go any farther than that, which means I should just upgrade that one. Get that other navigator in here if we can. Warp distance, nice. Do we have any specialists? Yeah, there's no way geology will catch up to space pilot, that's for sure. We do have two more staff spots. awkwardly weak rating. Okay. And at the peak of that warp distance, 2051 energy. then. Sure, why not? Limitless power. Let's just make it two of these and call it a day. I don't even think I need to upgrade them really. But I will go ahead and make one more. And just to get away a little faster. All right. Let's test it on that guy. Why not? Oh yeah, I should have upgraded my point defense. I can't fight this guy. I forgot this is a missile boat. He's like, wait, hey, what the hell?
So can I not get reputation for killing something that's too much higher level than me, or what's up with that? they're pissed off they're oh so because they are higher level they're attacking me first it's not it's not fixed as them being a higher level but incidentally it kind of works out that way most of the time wow Trying to get faster, it's cutting some slack. At least I can boost and repair and run all my other systems at once now. It's a lot of space being used up by generators, but until I start getting ion. <sighs> Poor Vangie. <laughs> That's a while away. Woo! He needed, a, he needed a few more ships to round that one out. up here, see what we can come up with. Syndicate, nice. And then they attack me. Because we're all the same level still. So. 
Ace. Hell yeah. Now I can hire a mercenary. Now I know I didn't get it, but what's the I wonder what the record is for Ace. Um Oh, 546? Yeah, I beat that. Has nobody else posted a better time for Ace yet? Aww. Sister Cerberus dead dead. still need two, three more uh, improved laser beams. Wow. That dude was coming at me. Was he being chased by missiles or did he warp out because he hit the dead zone? prevailed. Oh, okay. It'd be funny if I died, but this should be easy. some good damn loot. And now we got some mining bastards to shoot out. We'll go get those engines pretty shortly here. Mercenary, where, what are you doing? Where's your hideout? Oh, down there? You got that displaced? You poor bastard. Are you gonna take it away when I kill the guy that I allegedly saved? Nope. Alright, let's have a look, see. Yeah, Ace, 428.25. I mean, I was trying to get Ace, but not like hardcore exclusively. Oh, I can't get that. 
Oh, I have it now. I just don't turn it on. I keep forgetting to use it. See that? Hell yeah. Hot damn. Where are the PD beams? And the other miners. I'm supposed to be trying to kill them. Makes you so different. Nothing. Hey, that. Still no. Oh. Hey. Sweet. Still need more point defense, though. Just want beams. Those are good for the front forward shot, but now that I can use them. Just do it that way. Automatic. I guess I do have to take control of the forward weapons if that's going to be the case, because that's 100 heat. Yeah, that'll get out of control real fast. But we won't get hit by any missiles from the front. I don't know if that means I can take that guy on now, but maybe. Still don't have any miners around. A very low population. Figures. Very low again. <sighs> Good lord. I guess we'll go kill some... Miners. Yep. 
Hell yeah. Can't use it yet, but I'll take it. Although it is, I was talking about getting some. Yeah, I need to get some mercenaries together. Why is the stabilizer above the loot finder? Oh, I want the advanced. Aggressive. Whee. the warp in, bring it on. You all by yourself, that's it. I think hostile's a bit of a stretch there, isn't it? Wait. When did... Oh, Guardian Angel did that. Yeah, I got Guardian Angel and... <laughs> it just balanced it out. <coughs> Holy crap. Too funny. I wasn't paying attention to the effects of my reputation.
Damn. Alright, engine time. Fucking engine time. Then we go ape shit on some bangy. That acceleration's tempting too. There may be a time when I want to come back for that. All right, so let's let's do the thing, right? Obviously, these are not great, but they're purple, so they do okay. It gets us up to 42 with an 8.1 acceleration. Let's see. Yeah. Clean it up real quick. Ah, damn it, they don't... <coughs> it's alright, I have the engines. We're just gonna pop over here real quick. Now that we're not so hostile. Uh-oh, I don't know where they are. It's not good. Yes, indeed. We'll get our tier three enhancement. Burn some more of those relics. The good times, they are a rolling. It looks like the warp drive's still gonna be faster. Oh, the bounties, oh crap. No, you're gonna have to pass. Not on this guy, though. Oh boy, what do I want? Crew efficiency. Oh, I still need the thermal regulators. More refined metal. Okay, we'll get back to that. Yeah, it's pretty much all of them, yeah. So I need two thermal regulators here, and then two more here. So I need four in total. Okay. That's doable. Alright, so 8.2 acceleration, 42.3 speed. Oh yeah. Woo! Hot damn. Base speed 35 to 55. Hell yeah. All right. Let me know some of our primary weaknesses here are in 
damage. Hell yeah. Can I use those heavies yet? No, tech level 18, 15, damn. I feel like I could still take this guy though. I have to get there. Anything else? Firing 60, 94. Covered. Civilian. Still don't know it's here. Guess I might as well tool around this system for a little bit. Enjoy a 64.2 speed. Ooh, so nice. Nowhere to save over there, so I might as well not really do anything in case I die. damage. Mark three, hilarious. Not great though, not what I would want to use. Good acceleration, but the top speed is, what would that put it at like 50, 55? I can't tell. Probably 55. Yeah, I guess he ran out of missiles from all the times I kept harassing him throughout the Oh yeah, I need to scan around here. I have a slim chance of getting our uh, refined metals and special items. Can't see around the ship's giant ass.
I didn't hear you come in. Where? I didn't see it. Capital impulse drives everywhere now. Are they mocking me or congratulating me? If you were a silver star, I'd hire you in a heartbeat. Level 42 Space Ranger, get out of here. Alright, we got our point towards exploration. it by guessing. Thought you were gonna use repair drones for a smith? Come on. I 
could go with another set. I like it have four of these. So you want to be enemies with the Vangi. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Ooh. It's only one extra, but it's still, it's something. Something to do that Merc thing. <laughs> Oops. You guys have mercenary? Oh, they won't show up there. dark sectors here. There's one. There's two. There's one. Take a gate. Any gate. They pretty much all go the same to a dark sector. Although I guess it's possible it could be ship graveyards. Ooh. Pirate controlled. Hell yeah. Very nice. Independent territory. that one wow uh was it loot or pass by
Well, one's better than none. Hell yeah, I'll take it. Nothing wrong with that. It's a neat trick. What do you think about mine? That miner was like, I hate you! I guess I better go get Star Killer soon, huh? Do I want to be a pirate or. How do I get the pirates to make an offer? Should I go for the Children of Terra bonus and then be a pirate? I think that makes more sense. I don't know, do I want my escorts to be Terrors or Achilles? That's a tough decision. I don't know.
Yeah, it's worth careful consideration, I think. But I don't exactly have all the time in the world to make the decision. I know I can't get genocidal, so it would be kind of hard to go pirate. But pirates don't care if you kill a Bang E station. But the Children of Terra definitely care if you kill a human station. So that's that's one vote in favor of Children of Terra. But there's got to be a way to get in with the pirates. I just I don't think I can do it without leveling up too much. Although I can just... I don't think it'll matter, though. Nah, I want Star Killer. I like fucking with the Vangie. Oh, it detects it from so far away. <laughs> oh, I still don't even have OCD either. that I can actually catch up to him.
Should have used one of my shields a lot sooner. component. Look at that. Oh, and this other guy's coming in fast. Um, yeah, we're good to go. Time has come. Uh, yeah. Should I go ahead and take out that one? Oh god. Wow, it still went through? I just lost all of that? Oh my god. Fuck it, I'm gonna go get Star Killer. <laughs> Unbelievable. I will make sure your entire lineage feels the revenge I am about to exact on you. She'll be swift, feral justice. Pretty sure I can take out a level 17 station. Yeah, it felt like my shield. Well, I mean, it's just a couple of systems. It felt like my barrier failed, but I think it just ran out of time.
Wait, I forget. Will that quest still pop up once I find a place for it, or...? Should I reload it? Yeah, I guess so. Is there a way I can make that work though? I forgot. I know we went over this once before. Anything I can do to fix it? Or make it work? Oh. Uh, so it won't just generate one. Yeah, screw it. I'll still join him. I don't need the quest. I didn't like that loot drop. Blaster. That's fun. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. We almost, we're almost there on tech level. <clears throat> Won't take too much more. Oh, that wasn't my fault. No, merchant. You you keep being mad. I'm gonna keep being gone.
right, there we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started on that. Fine metals, so I have two, and it's gonna take two thermal regulators. Okay, so I can put on at least a tier three, which now that I think about it, do I want that to be damage resistance or true efficiency? Should I go for something else? Weapon heat generated. And then. Ooh, warp distance. Or weapon range. Damn. That's tough. I think I would do double heat generated so I could make ridiculous custom weaponry for this thing. Forget the range, but the heat knockoff, that's the big sell. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that. And then we'll put our tier 3 on later. Why my refinery's not running? Wow, they're not buying anything. Um... Oh yeah, because I took all those other heat sinks off. <laughs> I knew that. That's not what I meant to do. Oh well. It is time. Right. So I got 10 relics left. Um, that's a good one. Mm. Ooh. 
<laughs> soon, soon. Alright, I think we need a mining ship. That wouldn't really be a bad one. Not a great one either, though. Now let's have more fun with our uh, new affiliation first. Yeah, the only Children of Terra base I found had uh, human sec had human stations in it. So uh, non pirates, they were something else. I don't remember, but I don't want genocidal, so. Although genocidal would be a quick way to pirates, but I just don't want to ruin the Children of Terra thing. this for actual point defense now. Yeah, and that 5.8 strafe speed is nice for not having any lateral thrusters equipped. Oh shit. <laughs> it's not even hurting him that much. Uh oh. Back up so I can shoot you with all my guns, you jerk. Yeah. There we go. Uh-oh. You almost got you almost fell for it, didn't you? a relic. Oh, there it is. Oh. That explains a lot. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's going to be that. All right, you little bastard. Where are you? time that terribly. Oh no, speaking of bad timing. You don't gotta worry about it, bro. You look like you're gonna have a hard time doing anything at that speed. Oh, shit. Nobody said anything about that. I need a lot more flux charged up for that guy. Screw that. <laughs> oh my. trying to push me into that station, but they didn't have the, the force to really close the trap. It would have worked if they had a, a couple of extra ships there. Alright, let's grab this Rikita just for kicks, because... Oh shit, when did that happen? Huh. I'll be damned. Navigators gained 0.9 efficiency? Wow. That's pretty cool. Oh shit, yeah, it's late, huh? Crap, I wasn't even paying attention. Alright, good night. Take it easy. I'm probably gonna take off in a minute here, too.
Nice. So this launches soon then. can build fine components. Not quite on those. Those I can use. to be able to use those. Cerberus escorted by an empress, the queen and her guard dog. So I have two of these, it's like level 23. That's not crazy far away. All right, that is gonna do it for me tonight. Thanks for everyone for hanging out. Thanks for checking it out. Don't forget it'll be up on YouTube. We'll be back next weekend with some more Star Valor. And I believe, I could be wrong, it should be on the Discord. Come check out the Star Valor Discord. It's a good group of people. I uh, believe that the new content in the beta currently will be out sometime this week, if I remember correctly. But again, that's... The official word from Lyos, the developer, is in the Discord in the announcement channel. I'll go check that out. You should check it out too. And don't forget, Lyos put out a video dev vlog today. I'm going to go watch that right now while I chill out and get ready for bed. Once again, thank you. Thank you all for hanging out. Take it easy.